Don't you just want to get away from it all when you travel? On Vancouver Island, you can not only get away, but you can get lost in its beauty and wonder. Welcome to our nine must-dos on Vancouver Island. you nine activities to do in and around Victoria, British Columbia that are easy to do and family friendly. Number nine had me completely terrified but it was so worth it. Plus it was the only one we had to pay for. We want to give you practical information so when you go there you have all the tools and information necessary to have a great time. Let's do this! First is visit Bear Mountain. Bear Mountain is about a 20 minute drive from downtown Victoria. This is a really, really nice resort. It has some nice restaurants. It has a really nice golf course. There's a spa there, some tennis courts, and you can do some mountain biking there. There's some good trails around there. And if you love mountain biking, it's the perfect place to go that's really close to Victoria. The great thing about this place, if you have your own mountain bikes, it doesn't cost you anything but the gas to get there. Exactly. But you can run mountain bikes there. Really fun. Here. It's fun. Good for us. We've been out of shape, so. We're just trying to find these trails. Number two is Hike Sombrio Beach. This is located in Port Renfrew, which is about a two hour drive west of Victoria. Port Renfrew is known as the tall tree capital of Canada, and it's also home to the famous West Coast hiking trail. Finding Sombrio Beach is a little tricky. We drove by it twice on the highway, and there's just a little, little sign that says Sombrio Beach. So we're trying to go to Sombrio Beach today, and we drove past and drove past, and that is the sign. So you need to go down, and then you get to another fork, and then there's another little sign that says go this way. But once you get there, it's definitely worth it. So when you get there in the parking lot after you finally found your way, yeah. uh, you walk down to the beach, it's about 15 minutes, and it's known for actually camping, and it's a quieter spot for surfers as well. Don't forget about the waterfall. You have to go there. The whole point of going there is the waterfall. And it's a 20 minute walk just east of up the beach. Up the beach. We had problems finding it and we almost gave up because it's so hard to find. But don't give up. We ran into a couple of people and they pointed us in the right direction. So what you do is when you walk up the beach, you'll see like this cave type of rock and there's a little tiny stream coming out of it. And you've got to walk up the stream for a few minutes. Looks like fun. I'm going to get my feet wet. I know it. And then there's a bunch of rock with moss. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Covered yeah. over it. And then you look and it is there and it is stunning. Unbelievable. Oh my God. This just made my trip. And there's hardly any people in it because nobody knows yeah. where it is. It is so awesome. Remind me of the waterfalls in Bali. And prepare to get your feet wet because you're just going to have to walk in that water. And you cannot leave this beach until you find that waterfall. That's that a must correct. do. It's a must do. It's the way in. It's a legend from the movie Lord of the Rings and the Hobbits. You have to find the map in the book to get to this. You have to what? Who? Never mind. Third is visit Botanical Beach in the Port Renfrew area. This is a short hike from the Trailhead parking lot. Make sure you read the sign because there is also Botany Bay located there. You want the sign for Botanical Beach. You could do both as it is a short loop of only about three kilometers. This beach is known for its tidal pools and the marine life within these tidal pools. We're gonna go look for some sea life. Maybe we'll get some walruses or sea lions, killer whales, gray whites, turtles, I don't know. There's animals such as sea urchins, starfish, barnacles, and mussels. Which is so cool. Yeah. And don't forget to pack a picnic lunch as there's really nice picnic tables around the parking lot and we love to sit there after and have our cup snack. Yeah, and this is a great activity for the kids and the whole family. The fourth activity is to visit Fairy Lake, which is also in the Port Renfrew area. This lake is so worth a visit and there's this like tiny little Douglas fir tree sticking out of submerged log in the water. And I saw this thing on Instagram, there's tons of photographs of it and I just had to visit there. Yeah, it's about a 10 kilometer drive from the town of Port Renfrew. It has a nice campground there with a little sandy beach and it's a great peaceful place. It's a really nice peaceful place there. And the last three activities are all Port Renfrew area and can be done as a day trip if you want. That's right. The fifth activity is to stop at the Sheringham Lighthouse. If you like old lighthouses and rugged coastline, this is the thing for you. 
This lighthouse was built in 1912 after the shipwreck of the SS Valencia. It's also still used. And it's about the halfway point between Port Renfrew and Victoria. And it's just off the highway using an access road called Sheringham Point Road. In many places you see peacocks in the middle of the road. He's so cute! He's cute! We had to film him! And when you park down at the end, you actually have to take a little five minute path uh, to get to the lighthouse. There's no parking right in front of it. It is a great place to take amazing photos. And on your way out, there is this amazing cafe called Shirley Delicious Cafe. What's this place? Uh, what was it called? Oh. called Shirley. Shirley. Shirley Delicious. Shirley. It looks like a cute little cafe. <laughs> You have to stop there and get some amazing food and good coffee. Oh, it was so good. The sixth activity to do is to cycle the Cowichan Valley Trail, which is about an hour's drive from Victoria. This trail is part of the Trans-Canada Trail, and if you don't know what that is, it's a trail that stretches from the east coast to the west coast of Canada. You can bike, hike, or even horseback ride on this trail. These trails are about 122 kilometers in total, and you can cross several trestles, and we chose to start at the Kinsel Trestle. And we are standing right now in front of Kinsel Trestle. It used to be an old railway trail system. The Kinsel Trestle is one of the largest freestanding timber trestles in the world. Its length is about 187 meters and its height is about 145 meters above a large river. The views are amazing. Stunning. Stunning. This trail follows an old railway system and that's now converted to a multi-use trail. We found this trail not to be too busy. There's parking lots all along this trail so you can do as much or as little as you like. And it's basically flat, so it's excellent for families. Marco, where's your bike? I don't know, I'll turn to this horse and... <laughs> Rock it's not going anywhere! <laughs> Number seven is hike to a secret swing with a stunning view. This swing, with its an amazing view, is located at the top of Baldy Mountain. It's actually a really short and easy hike to do. It only takes about 30 to 40 minutes. There's two access points. There's a steeper, shorter climb, and then kind of a longer, more scenic climb, which we chose to do and you're greatly rewarded at the top. That's right, and this swing was built by a man as a gift to his wife on their favorite hiking trail. I know, it's so cool, and there's a sign up there explaining that. As well, when you're up there, you actually have a 360 degree panoramic view of Seanigan Lake below. And we did this hike on the way back from our bike ride on the Cowichan Valley Trail, as it also is in the Cowichan Valley area. So again, you can do this in a day trip. Just finished mountain biking, and now we're doing a steep hike, preparing for the zombie apocalypse. Getting really fit. And uh, living off the land. I think there's some berries along the way. The eighth activity to do is to bike the Galloping Goose Trail. This is an amazing trail. It was a former railway system, built in World War I and then converted to a trail system. It is 55 kilometers long. It goes from Victoria to Souk with many access points. You can do things like biking, hiking, walking, and many other things. Probably even horseback riding if you go to the rural areas. Yeah, maybe. This trail is super busy. People use it for commuting. Um, totally worth to do it though. And the beauty is you can start right in Victoria. Uh, for a bike path, this is pretty awesome, don't you think? Woo! I don't think she heard me. I don't think you heard me. You love this trail? Pretty cool. I love this trail. Last but not least, take a seaplane tour. I have a fear of flying no matter how many flights I take. You ready to go? I am ready to go. And if you're a little nervous, just like I am, do not let that discourage you from taking this tour. It is such a cool experience. Yeah, and you can book a seaplane tour from Harbor Air Seaplanes, which is in downtown Victoria. This airline that we're taking is actually the world's first carbon neutral airline. The reason why is the airport has solar panels, and so they generate enough solar power to offset the carbon that's emitted from the airplanes. And it's so much fun to take off and land from the water and also seeing Vancouver Island and its rugged coastline from the air is unbelievable. It's awesome. The cost is about $125 each and but totally worth the splurge. That was awesome. That was pretty awesome. Must say, 
I was nervous. It was a little bit turbulent. Not too bad though. No. But honestly, the shit this channel is making me do, my hands were sweating. Vancouver Island has so many things to do in and around Victoria. And if you love exploring the outdoors as much as we do, this place is definitely for you. And if you haven't already watched our original nine must do's, please take a look at that video as well for some other ideas because they're completely different than this video. And uh, where would that be? Uh, click in the... Right, right there, here? Right there. I think, about yeah. there. And oh yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. <laughs> Terrible! <laughs>